Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, Michigan Center Resolve, resolve you're coming across an issue on your computer versus a DNS probe finished no internet. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve this guys, and we're gonna jump right into it. So being performed on a Windows 11 machine here, however, it will work for Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows 10 computers as well. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're gonna start off by opening up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result, check on back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration, successfully flush a DNS resolver cache. Next thing you want to do is type in N-E-T-S-H, space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Exactly as you've seen on my screen, go ahead and hit enter. So you will need to reset your computer at this point. And hopefully that would have resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, you can attempt to do a network reset. So if you open up the search menu, type in settings, best match will come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the three horizontal lines up at the top. Go ahead and left click on that and select network internet. On the right side, go down and select advanced network settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. And this is a story move, then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button, and then select Yes. And then we're going to just manually restart here. So hopefully that was able to resolve your problem, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Do advise I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.